Hi, Wayne here from Sears Parts Direct. Today we're going to talk about what to do when your dishwasher leaks. If you see water leaking from the door, open the door and check the gasket. Also call the door seal. If you see tears or pieces of the door seal missing, replace it. Here's a video that shows you how. If the door seal is okay and the water leaks only from the bottom of the door, the problem could be a crack spray arm or a loose tube is creating wave action inside the tub. The wave action will slosh water over the front lip of the tub and drip out the bottom of the door. First, open the dishwasher door and check that no dishes are blocking the spray arm so it can't rotate fully. If the spray arm can rotate fully and isn't cracked, check the tube connection on the pump's water outlet opening. Spray at a loose connection can also create a wave action. To check the connection, open the dishwasher door and remove the bottom dish rack. Release and remove the bottom spray arm. Refer to your owner's manual for directions on how to remove the spray arm if it's different from this model. Reconnect the tube if the connection is loose. If your dishwasher is akin more with a turbo zone spray arm, check the turbo zone feed tube as well. Some dishwasher pumps have an outlet that screws on the top of the pump. If you have this type of dishwasher, make sure those screws are tight. The screws in this type of pump can work loose over time. When the screws get loose, water shoots through the side of the pump outlet, creating a wave action that can cause a leak. If you can't find the cause of the leak, we recommend having a serious service technician examine the dishwasher. The technician may need to run the dishwasher with internal components exposed. Only someone with adequate training should perform these checks due to the risk of electrocution. Next, let's talk about leaks under the dishwasher. You may not notice these until after they start damaging your cabinets. You might find a leak under the adjacent cabinets, such as under the kitchen sink cabinet. Sometimes, water may seem to be leaking from the bottom of the door when it's actually leaking under the dishwasher and pooling beneath the door. To find the leak, first disconnect the electrical power by unplugging the dishwasher or shutting off the house circuit breaker for the dishwasher. Then, remove the bottom front service panel and tow panel by removing the mounting screws and then pulling off both panels so you can see under the tub. On many dishwasher models, you can remove the front door panel and control panel to see and reach the bottom components better. Open the dishwasher door and remove the torque screws from the outer edges of the inner door panel. Support the outer door panel with one hand as you remove the final screws so it doesn't fall. Separate the outer door panel and control panel slightly from the inner door panel and let the outer panel rest on the floor while you disconnect the user interface control wire harness. Pull off the outer door panel and control panel. Check the water supply line connection at the front of the dishwasher first. If you find that connection leaking, tighten the fitting to see if that stops the leak. If not, shut off the water supply and place a towel under the water supply line connection. Disconnect the supply line and replace the connection seal. If the water supply line connection isn't leaking, Check the drain hose connection to the drain pump for drips or other evidence of leaking such as a water trail or water stains. Reconnect the drain line if it's loose. If the drain hose isn't leaking, use a flashlight to look under the dishwasher for evidence of leaks. You may see the leak dripping or a water trail indicating the location of the leak. If you find the source of the leak, replace the leaking seal or component. If you didn't find the source of the leak, you'll have to pull the dishwasher out from under the counter. For safety, make sure that you have electrical power disconnected from the dishwasher. Shut off the water supply to the dishwasher and release the drain hose from the garbage disposal or sink drain connection. Place a towel under the water line connection on the water inlet valve. Disconnect the water line and wipe up any spilled water. If the power cord plugs into an electrical outlet, position the power cord so it moves freely when you pull the dishwasher out from under the counter. If your power cord doesn't plug into an electrical outlet, then the power cord is hardwired into the junction box. Remove the junction box cover and disconnect the supply wires. Remove the strain relief nut to release the power cable from the junction box. Position the door panel and control panel close enough to the inner door so you can reconnect the user interface control wire harness and attach the outer door panel and control panel to the inner door panel. Reinstall the mounting screws. Remove the bottom dish rack to avoid damaging interior parts when you tip the dishwasher over to examine for leaks. Remove the screws from the mounting brackets that hold the dishwasher under the counter. Carefully pull the dishwasher out and lay it on its back 
so you can see all of the bottom components. Check for water trails or other evidence of leaking from the bottom components, such as the heating element, sump, or diverter motor. Replace any component that's leaking. If the component has a seal that you can purchase separately, replace the seal instead of the whole thing. If you don't see a water trail or evidence of leaks, set the dishwasher upright. Fill the tub with some water to see if you can find the source of the leak now that you have a better view of the bottom components. Pour a quart of water into the tub. Check for water dripping from any components under the tub. Continue adding water and checking for leaks until you fill the tub to the bottom of the mushroom float. You'll likely find the source of the leak using this process. Keep a wet dry shop vac or container handy to remove the water from the dishwasher once you find the source of the leak. Once you find the leak, remove the water and replace any leaking components or seals. If you can't find the leak, then the faulty component may only leak when the pump sprays water. Have a sear service technician find this leak because the technician will likely check for leaks with the dishwasher running and with wiring and electrical components exposed. Only a service technician should run the dishwasher in this condition because exposed wiring and components are an electrocution risk. I hope this video helped you out. You can find links to the parts we talked about in the video description. Check out our other pair of videos here on the Sears Parts Direct YouTube channel. Subscribe and we'll let you know when we post new videos.